guys, you're watching Navy Doc Wife. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel then welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you want to get notified whenever I post videos, hit that bell thing next to subscribe button so you'll be notified. And as for today's video, I'm gonna be doing another tag video and I've been tagged by Queen Casey Van Etta. I'll be putting her link down in the description box so you guys can also check her out and maybe subscribe to her as well. She's also a fellow military wife so yay! Anyways, yes, let's get this going. And I said, as I said, this is the 25 random questions tag. So here it goes. First thing is, what is something that a lot of people like that you dislike? Oh my god, that's a tough one. What is something that a lot of people like that you dislike? Well, shoes. I'm not really into shoes. A lot, I know a lot of people are into shoes, but I'm not one of those. So, yep. Number two, have you bre break a bad habit? Which one? How did you do it? Well, I used to smoke. I Yeah, I used to smoke. I smoked when I was 18 years old. And then recently, like four years ago, because I'm going to be here in the States for four years, I quit smoking. And yeah, how did I do it? I went cold turkey. I can, I can actually quit, pre quit, quit pretty quick. So yes, that's how I did it. So, next is name the person who knows you best. My husband, of course. He knows me best. Michaela, she knows me too. What is the movie that influenced your life the most? Ooh, that's a tough one. Mean Girls. <laughs> mean Girls, yeah. Because you'll never know who your friends are, even though you guys are close. Yeah, you know? I like pretty girls. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Mean Girls, yep. What is the, ah, number five, do you rather follow your heart or your head? Why? Head, because as, I, as they said, do not let your heart overruled by your mind. Because, you know, that's why head is above, so, you know, you don't get too emotional, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I always use my head, you know. I'm more into reality. Number six, do you snore or steal the covers or roll around in your in your sleep i don't snore still the covers no my husband does that uh roll around no as well number seven if you could start over what would you change differently no i don't i won't be changing anything because i wouldn't be where i am right now if it weren't for my old self number eight have you ever been bullied yes i have been bullied and I, I, I'm always the type of person who just laughs at everything. So whenever someone bullies me, I, I just only laugh at it. I'll go with it. I'll go by the flow of it. <laughs> Number nine, have you learned about your past? What have you learned about your past relationship? Well, one thing I learned about my past relationship is never to share something that is family related like for instance your fam every family has a secret you know we, we were always hiding in something in our closet so with my past relationship or with my ex with my with my son's father like i would tell him what my family is because you know no family is perfect and whenever we would fight he would always put it back to me hey your family is like that like that so that's what I learned. I, I never shared anything about my family, my wh what my family is, ever since then. Star Wars or Star Trek? Why? Star Wars. I watch all the Star Wars because my husband made me do it. You know, he said, okay, let's star, star, watch Star Wars. And I said, uh, yes, only if you buy me makeup. So I watch whole, whole episodes of Star Wars. It's okay. I'm not really into those. Number 11, go to comedy club or dance club. Who would you bring with you? Comedy club. My husband, I want him to see how comedy club in the Philippines would be. Number 12, how would your friends describe you? Oh, my friends describe me as the friendly type, the talkative one, the fun one. And yeah, the talkative, the loud, the friendly, every, yeah, that's, that's me, the bubbly, the bubbly person. <laughs> what is something that most people don't know about you? What is something? Well, I'm really a transparent person. What you see is what you get. So one thing they don't know is I'm really pretty. <laughs> what about me? Uh, 
and Michaela too. Ah, uh, what else? That I'm, I, that I'm, well, they know that I'm really nice person. I'm really a compassionate person. I don't, I don't know. Because, you know, what you see is what you get to me. Number 14, are you a religious person? No, I'm not really a religious person. I'm sorry. Number 15, how sensitive are you? I am really sensitive, like super, super sensitive. For example, you tell something about myself that you don't like. I'll be like super bothered by it. Like, oh, really? I'm like that? Um, yeah, I overthink things. And when some, sometimes when my husband said something, like whenever we fight, I'm always the one who ends up crying first. So, yeah, like even the small ones and even like commercial, I'm so sensitive that sad commercials, commercial makes me cry, Dory, like cartoons makes me cry, everything. First, makeup or shoes, choose only one makeup, makeup, yep. Quality of your husband, boyfriend, you like the most. My husband, he's a really responsible one, which I totally, I am, that's why I'm so in love with him because he's responsible, not just with our family but also with his work people rely on him people trusted him whenever i go to his work people would always tell me that hey guess what your husband is a really hard working person i am proud of that yeah babe if you're watching buy me makeup i, I said good things about you <laughs> are you the same person five years ago no i'm not really the same person five years ago if you've seen me or you saw me during five years ago, you would be like, you. Oh, I am different now. Seriously, even when I saw my classmate back in high school, we met here in the U.S. We're classmates in Cebu. And then we saw each other. And back when I was in high school, I am really, 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 really talkative, like super loud. And when we saw each other, I was like, oh, you're not, the, you're not Mayumi, whom I'm, why are you so silent? You're not, you weren't like that before. Number 19, what's the biggest personal change you've ever made? Um, I would always tell this to my husband that I did change because of him. I used to be like party girl. I like partying. So yeah. Jamie is texting texting me right now. She's asking, am I filming? Yes. See? <laughs> I'll reply to you. <laughs> that three truthful things about yourself three truthful things about myself um i would always see i am such a positive person like whenever something happens i would always say hey things happens for a reason i am as i am a positive person i i am more into reality like sometimes my decision would always be like like reality check how how world it is right how world is right now number three i tend to pity people like like i'm i'm a compassionate person let's just say that what is your most proud moment what is my most proud moment Ooh, when I have my kids like when i have my son and of course when i have michaela that's my most proud moment because i have seen and know that i actually um, I, I actually seen that they are good kids. That's like, I think that seeing them that they are good kids makes me proud because I'm actually doing something good f for me to realize that they are good kids. So, yep. The best thing happened this, 20, this year, 2016 or 2017. Let's just say 2016. Well, I have never imagined that. I'll be in YouTube doing videos and thinking like so someone actually actually watches you and inspires you and whenever they, they would call me or they would message me, hey, I watch you, that's one thing that would be like, wow, I never thought someone would watch me, you know, and when people would ask me as well on makeups, like, hey, what do you think of a good affordable products and then, you know, when people ask you something by that, it means they trusted your choices, they trusted you right so that's what i love about that too what are you afraid of i'm afraid as i said i'm afraid of getting old and dying like i couldn't imagine myself getting old and dying seriously yeah i'm, I'm one thing i'm scared of is dying and how will i die will i die painfully or will i die quick or will i die of sickness yeah that's what i'm afraid of 
Where have you traveled? I haven't traveled really that much. I think I only traveled in Japan. Yeah, of course, Philippines, Taiwan, and US. But next year, or this year, no, next year, I'll probably be, I'll probably be doing a lot of traveling. And I'll be going to South Korea. That's one of the places I wanted to go. Maybe Thailand too. More in the Asia area since it's gonna be near in Japan. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, show an old photo of myself. So that's me when I was like six, seven, yeah, seven years old right there. That's a really old photo of myself right there. And I kind of look like Michaela. <laughs> so yes, that's all for my 25 random question. I'll be putting people in the description box who I'm tagging. Yeah, who I'm tagging. So I hope you would check that out. And I hope you had fun. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!